love the line. <laughs> I got goosebumps when I wrote the line. Is your offense your most prized possession and you'd have to let it go? Uh, and, and that was in response to asking the question, if you got more curious about people who disagree with you, what would you lose? What do you think you stand to lose or, or what, what are you afraid of in, in seeking out opinions and viewpoints and perspectives that may differ from your own? And that, that point right there, I feel, is where a lot of us exist today, where we are where we are holding so tightly to our offense and looking for and waking up searching for a reason to be offended. And if we, if we started digging into other people's viewpoints and perspectives, we'd have to let that go. I think to some people, they don't want to do it. Uh, or that seems very hard, very vulnerable, very uncomfortable. I, I uh, recently interviewed a couple pastors who wrote a, an incredible book uh, on God. It's called God and Race, um, a guide for moving beyond black fists and white knuckles and, and talking about coming, opening up your hands in open-handed conversation. You can't do that when you're offended. You can't do that when you enter into conversations with with fists and, and clenched tightly. And, and that, that to me was my, oh my gosh, I loved that line just for what I hope brings about the conviction to people to understand like, yeah, is, is that what I'm, that's what I want people to do is, is, is ask the question, is that what I'm seeking? Is that what I value right now? Um, I, I hope that gets through.